friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So a couple of videos ago, we talked about installing our wood stove out here in the shop to give a little bit of heat. Now I'm under no illusion that that stove is gonna heat this 40 by 60 uninsulated building um, to a comfortable temperature. But what we wanted, we just want a little bit of heat over here in the shop area where we've got our workbench and our tools and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> so that we can come up here and do some projects and get some stuff done and it be somewhat comfortable and you know, you don't freeze to death. <clears throat> well, with a stove, one of the issues is that you have to have plenty of firewood. And while we live on 70 acres, about half of which is wooded, um, I've just not had a whole lot of time to get out and cut and split and prep firewood. Now we did buy a load of firewood a couple weeks ago and while it's okay, it's certainly not the best, but I think we found a way to recycle a product that we've got here on the farm to burn in that wood stove that is an excellent um, fuel for the stove. So hang out with us for a little bit. Let me show you what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it and see. But uh, hang out for a little bit and let's see how this works. All right, so here's my crazy idea. We are undertaking a pretty sizable fencing project here on the farm. And one of the things that we're doing as part of that project is we're tearing out some old fence. And as we were tearing out the old fence, we were pulling these out. These are fence posts that were buried in the ground. I don't know how long ago. I don't know how old these are. I don't know how long they've been on this, on this property, but these were holding up our barbed wire fence. And so yesterday, me and Jamie started tearing some of this stuff out and these are locust posts. And even though they're God knows how old, I mean, they got moss growing on them. I mean, and some of them at the bottom of the, of the ground or at the bottom of the post right at the ground, the only thing that was holding these things up was the wire itself. Some of them had just completely been eaten away by termites <clears throat> right, at the, uh, right at the ground. But we've got a whole side by side load and there's, and there's still plenty more. We're gonna cut these up into 16 inch lengths and we're gonna see if we can't burn these in the stove. This is uh, the best I could tell. It's black locust. Um, this is an excellent, black locust is an excellent fuel for a wood stove. Um, high BTUs, little smoke, um, and this stuff is, it's cured about as good as you're gonna get it to cure. Um, other than just being out in the elements, this stuff is dry. But it's very heavy and very dense. Um, I've still got some nails and stuff in it, so we're gonna have to be on the lookout for that. I'm just gonna use a chop saw. Um, I've got an old blade on a chop saw. We're just gonna cut these into 16 inch uh, lengths and uh, we'll see if it burns. These things are still pretty heavy. Um, I've got my roller measured out here, 16 inches. These are about six inches square. Yeah, they're about five, about five inches square. So don't think I need to split them anymore. Um, let's see if this chop saw is going to, uh, going to do the trick. So it doesn't quite all, get all the way through, but uh, I mean, that's, that's all we need. So on these ends that were in the ground or like this one, I think we broke it right just below the, uh, just below the surface. I'm gonna throw those in the, uh, in the burn pit outside. Um, just, I don't wanna burn all that, put all that dirt in the, uh, in the stove. This one's got a couple nails in it, so we're just going to steer clear of those. And uh, once we burn this, we'll just fetch those nails out of the uh, out of the stove.
don't know why the camera picks that up. Great example of why we tore these out. So, you know, if you're wondering, why would you tear fence posts out just to replace them? This is a uh, perfect reason why that's just eat up. Ended up with uh, 20 pieces uh, of firewood there. Again, I don't think I'm going to have to split it because <clears throat> it's only about 5 inches square, 16 inches long, some of it. Of course, these tops, um, and these are all the, the fence post tops. Uh, most of them are not that long. <clears throat> um, then there's some short pieces in there, so we'll see if it burns. So about, it's been about three hours now and I've put two squares of the um, black locust fence post in and I just started around a little bit with the, uh, with the poker and here's what's left. I mean there is a thick, heavy um, bed of coals in there and that sucker is, that's hot. I mean it's a... Uh, <clears throat> it's burning really good nice hot fire and that that's the second one that I put in and it's still pretty much mostly intact The first one's kind of back there to the back and it's all broken down into coals But this is the last one and that one's been in there gosh for I guess an hour and a half so <clears throat> long lasting burns nice and hot um, So I think this is going to be a pretty good um, Source for some firewood didn't have a whole lot of it. You know, there was seven or eight poles uh, post there's still more to come we still got to get some more out but we'll uh, we'll get those out and get them cut up and uh, I've got all that over here um, you know just right next to the stove <clears throat> these are all the tops um, they don't they don't lend themselves to stacking very well because they've been cut at an angle and the reason folks used to cut those as an, at an angle is so that water would shed off of them and uh, water wouldn't sit on the top and cause the post to rot so that's the reason for the uh, the angle cut on top. So, but anyway, pretty happy with that. I think Sophie is too. Yeah, she's kind of digging the fire. So I think we figured out a good way to recycle those fence posts. Um, you know, got them stacked up over here. Um, quite a bit of wood in those, and like I say, they seem to be pretty efficient, uh, nice and hot. Uh, and seemed to last a good long while. Um, you know, again, we just hadn't had a whole lot of time to get out and cut much wood and be able to season it and all that kind of thing. So this was a real good way to <clears throat> find us a source of some firewood and recycle a product. You know, there's no sense in, you know, leaving these out on the ground and just letting them go to waste when we can create a little bit of heat. And I bought this, I bought this stove. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. I paid 400 bucks for that thing. And it's a buck stove, and they're actually made here in North Carolina. I didn't know that until I bought it, and I was trying to find the owner's manual on it. But this stove, um, I got home, I had some errors to run, got in last night about 10 o'clock, 10.30. Came up and threw a couple of sticks of wood on this thing and closed it up and closed everything down nice and tight um, just to see how it would do overnight, see how it would burn. Came up this morning about eight o'clock or so and there was this you know i raked around in there and there was this nice big heaping 
you know, big pile of, of still hot coals in there. The stove itself was warm. I could lay my hand on it, but it wasn't hot. So it, it retains heat pretty good and kept the coals going um, all night long. So, you know, I'm pretty pleased with it. But anyway, I think that's gonna do it. Not pigs or chickens or cow related today, but you know, it's cold outside. I think it's, gosh, I think it's like 28, the wind's blowing. We had a little snow here last night, but nothing, nothing of any significance, but it's cold. Good day to stay inside beside the fire. But anyway, I think that's gonna do it. Like we always say, please remember to keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.